KPFXR News is your local election headquarters. State Senator Steve Newman announced today he is retiring after 35 years in public office. It comes after recent redistricting could have put Senator Newman running against fellow Republican Mark Peak. WFXR's Anna McDougall spoke with Senator Newman about his decision. She joins us now live. Anna, good evening. Kathleen, Senator Newman began his political career at just 23 years old, serving on the Lynchburg City Council. He says now after serving our communities for 35 years, he's ready to take the time to spend more time with loved ones. I've really been honored to have that opportunity to represent uh, our area, so I'm just very grateful to each and every one of them that allowed me the opportunity to serve. During his time in office, Newman served on several committees. Political officials say he made notable impacts in financial decisions, mental health awareness, and transportation. He is somebody that knows how to get things done. and He's, no, he's somebody that knows how the, the, the processes to make things happen. He also knows when it's time to take a step back. Following redistricting in the state, District 23 Senator Newman and District 22 Senator Peake would have both been competing for the District 8 seat. When you start shifting those uh, those district boundaries, sometimes you'll put two incumbents into the same district. They have to fight it out. Incumbents are almost always your strongest candidates. However, when asked about redistricting, you know, both Newman and Peake uh, said if Newman had run again, Peake would have stepped down. Well, Mark Peake told me um, almost a year ago that if I decided to run, he would not. Nobody could get as much done for our area as he could. So if he wanted to run again, it would have been best for our area that he run again. Peak adds that he is thankful to have had the chance to work alongside Newman the past few years, but Newman says he is ready to dedicate his time to family. Given the opportunity to spend more time with my wife, Kim, my two boys, and a grandchild that just, uh, just came, it would be the right time to make a change and uh, allow others to serve. Now, when asked if he had any future plans, Senator Newman said right now he's just focusing on his personal life, but he adds that he'll never say never when it comes to future endeavors. Reporting live in Lynchburg, Anna McDougall, WFXR News. And a thank you. Dr. Rackaway from Radford University adds that for 2023 elections, voters should be informed about who is on their ballot following redistricting as they may see some changes.